Part two. You guys loved part one and this part two has been like super requested. So here it is. And if you guys click the subscribe button right now, you guys can enter the current MacBook Air giveaway. And the only other thing you guys need to do to enter the giveaway is subscribe to my second channel, Reacty Corns, which is linked down below. And oh my gosh, guys, let's try and get this video to 150,000 thumbs up. I'll give you guys a couple of seconds to do that right now. Let's do it, guys. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. Let's go. Okay class, you've had all week to do this assignment, so no excuses for not completing it. Did my miss? Wenji, what is it? You better have a good excuse if you didn't do your homework. I do have a good excuse. I ate my own homework. Can I have an extension? Sorry, that was question three. That's a miss? No. Detention. Detention? Brother, sister, can you hear that? Our heart beat With this edible book, anyone can eat your homework, not just your dog. I initially thought making an edible book would be hard, but it's actually pretty easy. You'll need a few sheets of edible paper, which is sold at cake decorating stores. You also need some Twizzlers and edible markers and a hole punch. First, take your paper and mark out the halfway point by folding. Use some scissors to cut out a few sheets of your edible paper until you're happy with the amount. Stack your paper sheets together and then take your hole punch and punch out a line of holes along the edge of your paper stack. I used this heart shaped hole punch, which I thought was really cute. Now take your Twizzler and unravel one of the strings. I gotta admit guys, I ate a few while we were filming this. Break it into short strips and then thread them through the holes and then squeeze the ends together to form little Twizzler binder rings. I thought these looked so adorable. When you're done, you'll have a book that looks just like this. And using your edible marker, you can totally make it convincing by writing your own notes. And guys, this is not only good for pranks, but you can also keep secret messages in it and then eat it to hide the evidence. Now class, take your glue and stick some pictures on your vision board. Hey Wendy, look at this. Oh, I remember that. I used to do that when I was a kid. It was so much fun. Alright, let's do it. Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one, peel! Huh? Hmm? It's yummy. What's that? Uh... Miss, can I please change seats? She's too weird. No. When I can't find home, the stars won't... This prank is super easy to do and it's so satisfying to see your friends react to you eating glue. All you need is some vanilla yogurt. The color and consistency are pretty much the same as actual glue, and it's so tasty. Just rinse out a used bottle of Elmer's glue with dishwashing detergent to make sure it's super clean because you don't actually want to be eating glue. Next, fill it up with your vanilla yogurt and that's it. These squeezy packets of yogurt actually makes it super easy to put it in the glue, so try that as a tip. It looks pretty convincing and no one will suspect you at all. Pranking your friends and teachers has never been so easy. Wenji, why are you so restless? Sit still. Miss, I'm so hungry. You have to wait till lunch, Wenji. No special treatment. Fine. Miss, Wenji just ate a crayon. She's crazy. Mm. 
Wenji, spit it out, spit it out now. This prank involves turning chocolate into crayons. It takes a little time to prepare, but it's so worth it. You'll need some white chocolate, food coloring, thick boba straws, a knife, and a box of real crayons. First thing you need to do is prepare your straws, which will become your crayon molds. Just place a crayon next to your straw and cut the straw so it's slightly longer than the actual crayon. You'll need to prepare a few of these. Next, break up white chocolate into a microwavable bowl and add some food coloring to it. Here, I use purple. Microwave your chocolate for 30 to 60 seconds until it's melted. Take it out and give it a bit of a mix to spread out the food coloring evenly. Now pop it in the microwave again for another 30 seconds and the mixture should actually turn pretty firm, which is what we want. Take your straw and just stab the chocolate mixture until it fills up the entire straw like this. You can block the end with your thumb and then really pack it in so it's super solid. This won't work if the chocolate is melted and runny, so you need it at the right consistency. Let this mold set in the fridge and then do this for as many colors as you want. When they're solid, gently push them out of the molds, but sometimes they break if you aren't careful. But luckily we made them a little bit longer than we needed. Next, take a knife and cut away the crayon paper wrapping carefully, and then put it over your chocolate crayon and tape the ends closed. Make sure you have an adult supervised when you're using a knife, because it's pretty dangerous and we don't want to hurt ourselves. Lastly, gently carve away the chocolate on one end down to a point so it looks just like a crayon and you're done. And look at all of my chocolate crayons together. Oh my gosh, they look so yummy and ready for your prank. Okay class, remember this test is 80% of your final mark. Damn it! I circled the wrong answer. I need an eraser. Ooh, she has one. Don't mind if I do. Yoink! Hey, that's mine! You snooze, you lose. <laughs> hey, what the heck? I told you it was mine. Mmm. Mm. Yum. This eraser DIY is super easy to make. Just take three Starburst candies and stack them on top of each other. Next, patiently mold them together into the shape of a standard eraser. This might take some time, but just keep working at it. It's actually pretty easy to mold. And now you're done and ready to prank. Simple and delicious. Just don't get tempted to eat it before you pull your prank, because it smells really good, guys. And I forgot my sharpener as well. Wenji, can I borrow a pencil? Yeah, sure, help yourself. What is this? Huh? It's a pencil. Making these edible gummy pencils was so much fun. You will need some milk, gelatin, food coloring, thick straws, and tape. Prepare your straw mold by taping one side completely closed with duct tape so it doesn't leak liquid. You'll need to cut the tape in order to stick it down tightly, and you also need to repeat this step again for good measure since the first layer may leak. Now add one part water to one part milk and a tablespoon of gelatin powder. You may have to add more gelatin powder later and also some sugar to taste. Mix this well and then boil it over the stove until the powder has dissolved. 
Now we're going to construct our pencil from the bottom to the top. So the first step is to pour out some of this mixture into a separate container and then add some food coloring to this. I use some yellow and orange to try and mimic the classic yellow pencils we see all the time. Then pour about 10 to 15 centimeters of this mixture into your mold. Next we need to prepare a small container by adding some silver food coloring to it and then adding a small amount of your original gelatin mixture. I gave this a good mix and used a spoon to add small amounts into the straw like this. As you may have guessed, the silver bit is like the metallic eraser casing. Finally, make your pink eraser by mixing some pink food coloring with your gelatin mixture. And then add about 1 centimeter of this to your pencil mold. Let this set and then gently remove it from your mold by squeezing it just above the end. Trim the eraser and then shave down the end of the pencil to a point and you're done! I dotted the very end with a black edible marker to complete the look. These gummy pencils look hilarious to me and it was so funny watching them wriggle around and they looked so delicious as well. What's wrong with you, Wenji? Nothing! You're just wasting good food. Huh? What are you talking about? You can't eat this stuff. Yeah, you can. Mmm. Yum. I really don't know how my brain works, but I came up with this idea for edible eraser shavings. And it's so easy as well. Just pinch off randomly sized bits of a piece of white bread and roll them until they're long and thin. Collect a whole bunch of these and you're done. Unless your cat comes in and starts eating it, like Mia, who loves bread guys, she's obsessed with bread, it's so weird. But don't worry guys, I checked and it's fine for cats to eat a little bit of bread. Anyways, I think the eraser shavings look pretty convincing, what about you? If your friends didn't think you were weird already, they definitely will after this one. But don't worry guys, I got you, let's be weird together. Until I Okay class, now it's time to make another collage for this year. Last year, Wenji thought it would be fun to fill up her glue stick with Starburst. Show me your glue stick so I know you haven't done it again. Okay miss. Look. It's fine. Okay, good. Now let's get started. Don't forget to fill up the entire pit. Wenji, Wenji, what are you? Seriously, again? Detention. Some of you guys may have seen and loved the edible glue stick DIY I made in my previous school supplies video, but I wanted to make this glue stick even more convincing and I found the perfect recipe for this. You'll need an empty glue stick, some milk, agar agar, water and some sugar. First, make sure all the glue is gone from your glue stick and if it isn't, give it a good wash. Next, add 3 parts water to 1 part milk into your pot. Add 1 tablespoon of sugar or more if you'd like and 1 teaspoon of agar agar. Mix all of these together and then bring it to the boil on a stove. Transfer it into a pouring container and let it cool for a while, but not too long otherwise it'll set. Just pour this straight into your glue stick, let it set for a few hours and you're done. It looks so convincing so it'll definitely trick your friends and it was actually pretty tasty. I even made a smaller glue stick with the extra glue mixture which was so cute. 
guys, how fun was that? I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and you learned something new. Don't forget to be careful when you're pranking because last time I posted a video, you guys mentioned a couple of you guys got detention for doing some of these pranks. Also, let's see what happened on Reacticons this week. And Baba Black Sheep and Twinkle Twinkle Little Star are the same thing. What? Wait, 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 wait. wait you sing, wait, you sing the ABC okay. song. A, B, C, D, E, E, G, E, E, Yes, 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 during the week, you can find me on my social media, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Musical.ly. I post on all of them during the week, so I'd love to see your faces over there. And until next week, I'm going to wish you guys so much, and I'll see you guys then. Bye, guys!